to the Maxwell Monsters vlog. Uh, sorry if the audio is a little weird. I don't have my mic on me at this exact moment. Um, I've been working on watercolor paint today. I've been trying to fill up a lot of these pans. I'm trying to just hopefully finally get a palette done and I'm getting there. I have two shades uh, that I'm already like done with. I do have footage of those because I was like, oh wait, I never did an intro. So I stopped making paint and I'm doing this now. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where the pan went for this yellow shade. I already have it like out. It's already like here. I don't know if I'm gonna put it just in the palette like that or if I'm gonna put it in this. I don't know yet. So uh, let's just keep crack lacking on my aura palette, I guess. Sunday night. Sorry if my face looks red. I only just used a face pad. My first complete watercolor palette made entirely from uh, expired and recycled makeup. Hopefully my tinfoil pan holds. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm really excited to finally start making something with it soon. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I also do know the next palette I'm going to finish after this and that is my little sleek palette which uh yeah hang on it's back here nope that's not helping this packaging is not camera really friendly no wonder this makeup palette really didn't sell that great when i got it uh anyways yeah i have this rose gold color that i still need to use which eh, for funsies will swatchy like it's it's a pretty pink color but um bit I, I'm trying to explain why you're too dark for me while this is a very pretty palette while I was using it I just have highlighters that I like more so yeah these two I'm gonna turn the vanilla one into paint I'm probably just gonna scoop out the rose gold highlighter for the rest of the night I do have some TikToks that I need to film specifically on copyright and everything I don't know if I'm gonna be making I have two ideas for my, my next non-project video and I don't know which one I'm gonna do. One of which is very pertinent information like on copyright and things like that, but also the other one I really wanna do is finally a full video on my uh, watercolor palettes because my dad has a way, uh, we're gonna be using Flex Seal instead of, turns out not waterproof uh, spray paint. This is very sticky. I need to spray this in Flex Seal. I'm just throwing this around like a frisbee. But I did learn something kind of interesting today that I also really wanted to kind of walk my thoughts through because I am kind of mad about this. I get mad about at least one thing in every vlog now. I let spinach in here. Hopefully he doesn't like jump up on me and like knock the wind out of my lungs or anything. Can you be good? Can you be good spinach? Anyways, so when looking at the recommendations for my channel, turns out I am being recommended alongside non-age gated. <laughs> oh God, this is so awkward. Um, sexual content is what I will say. Um, not non-age gated sexual content that should be age gated. I'm like, I'm like PG-13 here, but this content is not okay. I don't want to see a woman's bare nipples in my recommendations for my content. And when I talked to YouTube about it, they were, they were very um, apprehensive about answering my questions on why this content wasn't age gated. Their recommendations algorithm is why they're getting sued right now. And this is just more proof that their recommendation feed is broken. Their recommendation algorithm is severely broken. Um, but yeah, that's my rant for this video. Me and Spinach are gonna lay in bed now. Can you say hi, Spinach? Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. So, <laughs> You're going to town, huh, buddy? Before we get started, so I think you guys saw it. I'm working with my calligraphy handbook today because I wanted to do something I haven't done since like high school. And at least I don't think I've done it since high school. 
um, I think it was part of the curriculum. It was known as a gilded manuscript, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have a, I have high school number two's piece over here, but I'm not gonna show it in fear of my camera falling again. Uh, we just did our name in like a cursive font or whatever looked cool. And then we filled in the first letter of our name with a gold Sharpie. But this time it was like a true manuscript type of thing. And I wanted to do it again. So I cut out some cardstock at eight and a half by five and a half, which much more uh, manageable piece of paper, much more manageable pieces of paper compared to, Jesus, what is that like? That might be, I almost want to say 9 by 14 is what that piece of paper is. But this is the book I'm going to be referencing. It is my calligraphy handbook by Emma Callery. I got this at Ollie's a while back, uh, and I have been obsessed with calligraphy since. I have a Five Below calligraphy set. I also have like an Amazon dip pen set that I use for calligraphy. Uh, this book is absolutely amazing, and this is the alphabet I'm going to be referencing. This is, what is this called again? Uh, decorative Italic. Italic is one of the ones heavily popularized, I think created in Italy back in the Renaissance era. It's super, super pretty. I have dabbled in Gothic ones before. I think I've done a Roman. It looks absolutely stunning, looks absolutely gorgeous, and it kind of emulates my handwriting in a way, at least from what I can see looking at it. So I can go off of how uh, a lot of calligraphy and manuscripts are done, which is the capital letters have these flourishes. So I'm excited to do that. I don't know what I'm gonna write though. I don't know like, what the manuscript is going to be of. Okay, it is now Tuesday. I'm sorry I didn't film anything of the manuscript. It is because I was being so tedious with my measurements and everything. And then this is as far as I got. I know it's hard to see. My color race pencil lines are pretty faint. And then I hit a rough patch of art block when it came to finally putting something on the page in terms of the words, like the actual manuscript part. Uh, the, the freeze warning is just kind of not really going away and it's never hitting a stable temperature for sealants on my uh, Palmer Clay paint palettes. I'm having to pivot severely. I might just do some social media stuff today. I do have some more video responses that I need to put up on TikTok because of the Disney trademark video I made. Anyways, I'm gonna go warm up and do some laundry.
happy Saturday. Also, I'm finally ending this vlog. I don't know how much footage I have in the end. I haven't finished editing the vlog yet, even though it's supposed to go up today. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but also my parents are home. I'm caught up on Critical Role, which is awesome, but at the same time, now I have to wait till Thursday. The Abogee Solstice was a lot, but I'm okay. I'm okay. And that's what matters. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I guess now we have a goal of reaching 100 subs because I hit 50. I'm already close to 80. Oh my god, I think I might have to do... I might have to think of something to celebrate it, honestly. Uh, if you go down in the description, you will see all the links to my work. I hope you guys consider checking that out because every view, every sell, every favorite of the shop and everything gets me closer to having this as my dream job, as my full-time career, because the world pretty much won't let me do anything else, even with a college degree. I will see you next time, monsters. Bye-bye.